Welcome to the throne of grace. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, compares to the throne of grace. And I say again, welcome to Songs and Psalms. This is the place where we talk about spiritual songs and psalms. This is the place where we dissect the songs that we sing in church because most of the time we don't know the meaning of the song we sing. And as a result, we don't have the maximum benefit of each one. When we started this program, I illustrated this point by an experience that I had in second primary school. We used to sing this song, and I'm sure you know it if we were not born in 2005. Wherever you go, 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 wherever you be, do not say yes when you mean to say no. Beautiful song, I must say, and as simple as that song was, I did not understand the meaning of that song until about 20 years later. One day I was just singing this song and it occurred to me that the moral of the song was do not tell lies. <laughs> Always be truthful. And for years I've been singing that song I didn't have a clue of the meaning. And the same thing with the song we sing in church. If we don't have the meaning, abuse is inevitable. And we make nothing of the powerful songs that are released into the airwaves. So, this is where we talk about such songs and we discuss them for the benefit and edification of the church. And I'm sure that today that you have joined us, the Lord will really, really bless you. Now, before we go further, let us meet the team. Lord, I worship 
Today we have a very interesting song, a hymn song by Mylon Hayes family, and it's titled God Give Us Christian Homes. You know that the most important aspect of a society is the home. That is the foundation of a community, the foundation of the state, the foundation of the world in its entirety. So if the homes are not doing well, the world cannot do well. So if you are looking for a better word, then pray for a good home. Today we'll be praying to God. This song is a prayer unto God that God should give us his kind of home. You know, the marriage agenda, the family agenda was originated by God in the Garden of Eden. And so we want to ask the author of homes to please give us his kind of homes. If you don't know this song, I'll give you an idea. God give us Christian homes. Homes where the Bible is love and thought. Homes where the master's will is done. Home come with beauty your love has wrought. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. It's a prayer that we should all pray. I know a lot of homes are struggling because many homes are under the attack. But God will help us and He will give us Christian homes. So to deal with this song, to treat these songs, we have invited seasoned men of God that will do justice. I think the first person that will be speaking to us today is Reverend Kayode Tadeshi. Please welcome Reverend Kayode Tadeshi. God give us Christian homes. Oh, I praise God for this hymn and the lyrics, the words of it, and the writer. Um, and this is a prayer indeed. It is the will of God that all of his children have good godly homes that was the first institution that he created in the garden of eden what a what a powerful prayer god give us christian homes homes where the bible is loved and taught where the master's will is sought where the father is true and strong homes that are free from the blight of wrong where there is love and song, hmm. where the mother in caring quest tries to show others your way is best, homes where the children are led to know Christ in his beauty, who loves them so. What a prayer, what a powerful prayer. And my prayer for you is that you will enjoy the benefit and the blessing of a Christian, a godly Christian home. You know, love, joy, and peace were in the Garden of Eden because the presence of the Almighty God was there with them. They fellowshiped with Him every day. And He was the cornerstone of that family, that marriage. There was the instructions He gave to them, His Word. And when we build with His Word, we build in wisdom. When the man, the father takes his place, the, 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 the woman, the wife takes her place, the mother, and children are taught by the Lord according to his word. Well, then there will be love, joy, peace, harmony, purpose, and the favor of God. Even in this generation, with all the difficulties and all the attacks that families are under, my prayer for you is that you will enjoy the blessing of a godly Christian home that you will enjoy the new wine of the Holy Spirit in your family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Coyote. That was very insightful. Now we move to our dear sister, Sister Yemisi. Please welcome Sister Yemisi. Hello, everyone. The hymn we're going to be reviewing today is God Give Us Christian Homes. What is a Christian home? The hymn itself lays the foundation of what a Christian home is. The Christian home is one where the Bible is taught. That's what the first verse of the hymn talks about. The second verse talks about the role of the father in the home. The third verse talks about the role of the mother in the home. And the last verse talks about how the children are led to know the Lord. So what is a Christian home? A Christian home 
is one where the Bible is the foundation. Do we think the Christian home is under a siege or a threat? Definitely. In the world that we currently live in, where we have different kinds of um, gender, you have the she, you have the in, you have what some people call the shin, the Christian home is definitely under a threat. But how do we ensure that the Christian home is preserved? By going to the foundation. God is the foundation of every home. How do we learn the laws of God? We learn the laws of God in His Word. Through His Word, He speaks to us and He teaches us. And this way, we can entrench the values of a Christian home. And this is how we ensure that the values of the Christian home are kept and preserved. This should be taught in churches. Um, we, are, we are told that the men are to love their wives, the women are to respect their husbands, and then the children should honor their parents if we all follow these values which are found and based on the Bible. Definitely, we're going to preserve the Christian home in a world that is under siege from different kinds of values. Welcome back. A lot of people have been asking me questions about the difference between a Christian wedding and a Christian home. Of course, a Christian wedding is the one conducted between two Christian couples, while a Christian home is the home where in principle the teachings of Christ as regard home and family is being practiced. The reason why we have divorces and major crises in our homes is because people have refused to follow the pattern as laid down by Christ. And that is why we are praying that God will give us Christian home. And in doing the, this process, I came across a content on TikTok at the page of underscore Christ Fit. And I think it is worthy of mention and you should see this video because it's an apt description of this message of Christian home. Please have a look. How to destroy the entire world. The world is made up of continents, which is made up of countries, made up of states, then cities, villages, communities, which are made up of individual homes or families. So if you want to destroy the world, you start by destroying the human family. Now God's design of the family is God who is the foundation and source, the father who is the provider, protector and disciplinarian as well as teacher, the mother who is the nurturer, caregiver, emotional support and teacher, and the children who are the offspring. The children are the future of the world. So the first step in destroying the family is to remove the most important person, God. You do this by removing God from the education system and pushing the agendas that there is no God, the Bible is outdated, science is fact, God is fiction, and whatever else nonsense people believe these days. The next step in destroying the family is the removal of the father. This step is much easier now that God is gone. You see, because godless homes produce young adults with a morally corrupt lifestyle. Slack godless women go about giving up their womb to multiple men outside of marriage. Weak godless men go about creating children that they have no intention of fathering. This usually results in what we call single parent households, most of which the mother only remains and the father is excluded. Fatherless homes proliferate fatherless homes and now you're left with an epidemic of broken family units with no God and no father. But it doesn't stop there. Now the single parent is left with the full responsibility of the home. They are so busy making ends meet that they have minimal time to spend raising their children themselves. So the child goes to school and he's learning his principles from the education system. And what is the system teaching? The system teaches your child that now you can have a family with two fathers or two mothers as parents and somehow that is perfectly fine. This stupidity further corrupts the already broken family units that we have in the world. Now you're left with homes that have no God and no father. Some have no mothers. Some have two mothers, two fathers. It's a complete mess. Now the result of broken godless homes is that it produces morally weak offspring. Our young men are growing up with no fear of God, no strong sense of integrity and righteousness and godly character. Our young women are growing up with no sense of chastity, no humility or loyalty, experts in manipulation, and the list goes on. So these faulty, misguided youths evolve to become corrupt politicians, fraudulent judges, unethical policemen, ruthless criminals, dishonest businessmen, greedy pastors, all who pollute and dismantle our communities, states and nations. 
Now you have a selfish and cold world where no one loves or respects their neighbor, everyone fights for themselves, family becomes enemies, close friends backstab each other, nobody could be trusted. It's country against country, nation against nation, mankind divided against himself and destroying his own race. It's only a matter of time before a world like this collapses and self-destructs. And it all begins with the removal of the most important member of the family, God. Wow. Now it's time for us to go and treat the song itself like the professionals we do. Please listen. God gave us Christian homes. Homes where the Bible is loved and taught. Homes where so convinced and persuaded that God heard us while we were singing that song praying to God to give us a Christian home and I pray with all my heart for everyone watching this program 
going through one challenge or another in their homes or you know someone going through one thing that the Lord will indeed visit those homes and make it good for them I tell you the rate of attack on homes nowadays are phenomenal but God will not abandon us as we call upon him the Lord will come through for us and will give us his kind of homes so I would like you to share this program with your friends and loved ones let them partake of this good news let them partake of this blessing also you are a representative of a home you have an opinion about what a good home a christian home, a god kind of home should be so let your opinion count use the comment section make your comment let let us have your thoughts on a christian home on a godly home on a good home let me tell you something if you let us know what you feel we will be able to know how to help you we will treat every comment accordingly I also like to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell you don't want to miss any of the goodness there shall be release of songs in this coming month there shall be showers of rain I bet you you don't want to miss any one of them so this is the end of the show today we thank God for a wonderful time and we hope you will join us the next time we are coming to this same place. So till then, I say, peace out. Sunset, sunset.